How's it going, YouTube? This is Skull, and welcome to my game pickups for the month of May 2020. I know I'm a few days late, but there's a very good explanation. I was lazy. That's a pretty good explanation. Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to go ahead and start off with this. This is a Pokemon Red 2DS that came out in Japan four years ago. So if you've been following my series here for a long time, then you'll know that I've been slowly collecting these uh, ever since they first came out. The first one I got was for Pokemon Yellow, the second one was for Pokemon Blue, and then Pokemon Green, and now finally I got Pokemon Red, the very last of them. Now I ordered this like almost two months ago now. Um, I bought this with my stimulus check. I just figured, you know what, that, this is the last of those special edition 2DS's that I need. I'm just going to go ahead and get it, and I'm super happy to have this. Everything is in here, the 2DS, the, the booklet, the, the little map that came in here, even the code to get new. Um, so yeah, I'm very happy to have this now. It did take forever to get here because of the pandemic shutting down international shipping, but the point is, it got here, and I'm happy. So uh, yeah, the last of the 20th anniversary 2DSs that I needed. I would love to get way more Pokemon consoles than just those, but unfortunately, they're all getting really expensive, so very, very sad day. Also, I'm wearing the hat because I got stupid pandemic hair. I'm going to try and get a haircut this month for the first time since February, so man, I am in need of one. Uh, let's see here. I'll just go ahead and get these other games out of the way here. I picked up a PSP game. Well, actually, technically, I imported this PSP game. This is a Japanese exclusive game called Sword Art Online Infinity Moment. And this is, to the best of my knowledge, the very first Sword Art Online video game. And I decided, you know what, it's exclusive to Japan, it's exclusive to the PSP, it's like 10 bucks on eBay, I'll just go ahead and get it, just to say that I have it. So, I did. And this kind of random. I don't often get Xbox One games, but I got this one because, again, it was cheap. Uh, Madden 16. I don't know why, but I've been in a Madden sort of mood lately. I, I really don't know why. I'm not a football fan. I watch the Super Bowl and that's about it, but I, I just love playing the, the football games all of a sudden on, on video games. So, um, anyway, I needed to order something from Amazon. I'm not a Prime member, so it was cheaper for me to add this to the cart than it was to pay for shipping for the single item. So, there we go. Uh, that brought my total up to over $25, and yeah. Now I got Madden 16 for Xbox One. I don't even know if this got a patch to uh, be useful on Xbox One X with 4K. But, hey, what can you do? I also decided to pick up a few Wii U games that I was missing. I really want to finish up that Wii U collection, and the longer I go without it being complete, the more expensive those games get. I'm, I mean, the most that I paid for a game so far is, what, Devil's Third, I think? And that cost me 65 bucks. Uh, I thought that that would be the holy grail of the Wii U set, and that would be the most expensive thing I'd have to buy, but nope. Uh, it turns out there's actually quite a few games that I am still missing that I need, like Game & Wario is like a $70 game for some reason, but anyway, I ended up getting a few of the Wii U games that I was missing, uh, starting with Skylanders Giants, which was the final Skylanders game that I was missing. I don't know why, I thought I had them all, but I was looking over my list and nope, I was missing Skylanders Giants, so now I have all the Skylanders games. Uh, Sniper Elite V2, um, the reason I got this is, uh, kind of silly. I saw it in another YouTuber's game pickups, uh, last month, and he didn't get the Wii U version. I think he got the Xbox One version, but I looked it up and saw, oh, there was a Wii U version, and I don't have it, so it just sort of made me feel like, may as well pick it up now that I know that the thing exists. Even though the Wii U only has 164 games in its library, kind of hard to think that I actually don't know most of those games. I know the big hitters and the ones that I picked up along the way, know well, most of those, but there's a lot that I don't have that I don't even know exist, and Sniper Elite was one of them, so now I got that. Uh, also picked up Tumblestone. I'm pretty sure this one was brand new on Amazon. 
So another one of those instances where it was cheaper to buy the game to bump the total in my basket up to $25 rather than buy the single thing and uh, have to pay more than this was worth shipping. Uh, and the last Wii U game I got was Zumba, Zumba Fitness World Party, and, uh, yeah, this is, as far as I remember, this is the final game alphabetically in the Wii U library. I'm having a hard time imagining there's anything in the alphabet that comes after ZU, so, um, yeah, not in the best condition, but that's okay. I got the game. I'm happy. Uh, condition... I would like to care more about condition, but to me, I, I had the same mindset with Pokemon cards. I always felt like I'll just get the the, uh, the item first and then improve the condition later if I need to. Um, and that's just sort of how I feel with video games as well. Maybe someday I will get a better condition box for Zumba, but for now, I have it in my possession. And that's one game off my list of Wii U games that I needed, so I'm happy. I also got, finally, this last stack of, uh, lastly, I got this nice little stack of Switch games. Looks like there's six all together. So, let's go ahead and show them off. Uh, first up is Demo, and, uh, one of my friends in the Switch core community, the Switch collectors, uh, they played through this game, they absolutely loved it, so I decided to pick it up and try it out for myself. It's rated E for everyone. It looks like it could be a horror game, but it's rated E, so I, I don't think it's a horror game. I think that it looks like it has a sort of charm to it, so I can't wait to play that. This one probably should be fairly obvious why I picked this up. Mario and Sonic at the Winter Games Tokyo 2020. I don't know if any of you have been hiding under a rock or something for the last six months, but uh, the Olympics are not happening this year. They've been postponed until 2021 due to this thing going around. Uh, but they're still marketing it as the 2020 Olympics. This is the first time in history that the games have been postponed by a year. Uh, there have been three times when they've been canceled, but this is just postponed. So for marketing purposes, the games are still called Tokyo 2020. So even 150 years from now, even though this they will have taken place in 21, they will still be the 20 Olympics. So, even though this kind of feels like a bit of a premature release for the game in hindsight, it still makes perfect sense because, I mean, it is still the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Uh, and hey, Mario and Sonic games are always really fun, and this has a uh, retro sort of mode to it where you get to play a bunch of mini games with old pixel uh, graphics from the 8 and 16 bit eras. So, I thought that was a pretty cool addition. Next up, uh, Memorial Day weekend, I ended up um, getting in on a Best Buy sale. I basically went to Best Buy, looked for the cheapest game that they had that I was missing, and it was Rapala Fishing Pro Series. So now I got that. <laughs> um, there are a lot of really weird games on the Switch that you would look at and think, that looks like shovelware, it looks like it wouldn't be fun. But it is. I've actually played this a little bit, and it is. Not a bad game. Um, I'm pretty surprised. It is a fishing game, and it's not like it's uh, it's Dark Souls or something where you have to be, you know, on the edge of your seat the whole time. But it's enjoyable. It's it's very fun, and I did like it a lot. Um, so yeah, that's one more game from my year two that I was missing that I now am no longer. And this is a is this is a, another example. Shining Resonance Refrain. So, um, what I would like to do is go back, look at every single Switch game released in North America that I'm missing, and get the one that was released the farthest back in time. And this was that game. This was released in, like, May 2018, I believe. So, May or June. Anyway, so, maybe it was even July. <laughs> uh, but anyway, I got this now. Unfortunately, now the farthest back game that I'm missing is a game called Lost Child, which was a GameStop exclusive that I did not pick up, and now it's going on eBay, and all my best offers are being rejected. Why do people post $40 or best offer and then instantly reject a $39 offer? I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, that I now am missing two less games from the Switch's Year 2 library, and uh, I'm happy. I ended up picking this one up because I, I believe it because it was on sale or something like that. Um, anyway, Umihara 
Kawase Fresh. So the Umihara series is actually kind of big in Japan, and I just saw that this art is a little crooked. Let me fix that. And uh, only a few of these games have actually been localized here in the States, and this is one of them. And uh, I actually did want this when it first came out. It looked like it would be a fun game for me to enjoy. Um, but uh, for some reason, I just didn't pick it up on release. But like I said, it went on sale. It was a game I was missing and I wanted, so decided to pick it up. And uh, anyway, I believe I actually got that with my stimulus check, which is now completely spent. So you're not going to be seeing any more of that in the future. And finally, I picked up a limited run game. And this is finally one that I did not pre-order or pick up in a store. This is one that I actually missed out on and had to go to eBay to dish out some dough to get. Double Switch. Now, this was originally a Sega CD um, FMV game, you know, in the same vein as Night Trap or, or something like that. Sewer Shark, I think. Um, but it got a re-release on the Switch from Limited Run Games. Missed it, um, but I went to eBay and got one for a fair price. Um, I don't even know if I paid any more than Limited Run Games sold it for. And if I did, it was only by like five bucks, no more than that. So I'm happy to have gotten this. And thanks to me getting this, this is number 41. According to that number on the back, I own the first 47 uh, LRG Switch games now in a row. The three I'm missing, one of them is Blazing Chrome, which is just shot up in price, which, so, so, man, I'm, I'm gonna really hate having to hunt that down. Um, but, you know, I would like to at least get the first 50 LRG Switch games at some point. Just got three to pick up and uh, that I missed out on, but anyway, so that does it for my game pickups for the month of May 2020. Let me know what your favorite thing was that I got this month. My favorite is this Pokemon Red 2DS from Japan. Uh, let's see. It is now June, so for my game pickups in June, you're going to see a lot of stuff, including birthday presents that I have gotten for my birthday. So, see you next month with better hair. See you then. Bye, guys.